Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records and reviewing albums today. And the brand new and third release by Mike Campbell and the Dirty Knobs called Vagabonds, Virgins, and Misfits. So this just came out on Friday, June 14th, 2024. Again, it's his third album with the Dirty Knobs that he put together um, after the passing of Tom Petty in 2017. And if you like the rockin' stuff of Tom Petty uh, and the Heartbreakers, this is a little rougher, less polished, maybe a little bit more bluesy, similar to the Mojo album that the, the Heartbreakers did. Very 60s influence, very guitar driven. There's some guests on here. Steve Ferroni replaces Matt Laug on drums. Laug is now with ACDC. Bring in Steve Ferroni from the Heartbreakers. Also includes Chris Holt on guitar and Lance Morrison on bass, along with Ben Montench on some keyboards. Of course, Mike Campbell, the great guitar player. Uh, Mike Campbell is 74 years old. I can't believe that. And uh, I really like this record quite a bit. Ver uh, Vagabonds, Virgins, and Misfits. It opens up with a song called The Greatest, kind of an anthem tune, tribute to your fans. You are the greatest type of thing. Uh, I could see them doing that as an encore. Maybe it should have been the last song on this album instead of Amanda Lee, which is a little 43, so 43 second mandolin song at the end. But we'll get to that point later. Um, the Greatest is okay. Uh, Angel of Mercy is next. And that's where we really start getting going. Uh, high energy again. Southern rock feel. Uh, Heartbreakers sparkle on the song. Slide guitar. Really love that song. There's a mic there. That might be the guitar that he plays on the last song. Again, we'll get to Amanda Lee later. Dare to Dream is next. Uh, uh, a little bit darker in the verses, but then you get that instant hook in the chorus, which brings everything up, it elevates everything. You know, the Heartbreakers are great because they are rockers, but they always had the big hooks, and he was a big reason for that, along with, obviously, Tom Petty. It feels good. Graham Nash sings some backing vocals on Dare to Dream. Love that song. Hands Are Tied is next. More of a ballad, kind of the, the Wildflowers era Tom Petty territory uh, the, his vocals are great on this song so his vocal has is reminiscent of petty kind of that southern drawy kind of lazy vocal uh with some wine it wine in it uh some dylan in it some tom some um mike campbell in it obviously he's not trying to be petty he's not trying to be dylan it's just his voice is the way he talks and that slow southern thing which I like quite a bit. Hands Are Tired Tied is a top track for me. There's a, a great solo in it. Great guitar solos all over this record. Hell in High Water, Lucinda Williams is on it again. Kind of darkier, murkier. She doesn't really come in until deeper into the song. A song about, um, you know, man and woman and, and, and working that out. And, and to have a legend like Lucinda Williams on your record, you're going to want that. Again, Dylan meets Petty vocally. Uh, duet's great. Storytelling, his phrasing is similar to a Tom Petty. And again, I'm not here to compare the two. It just it reminis it reminds me of it. And if you like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, you're going to really dig this. Okay? Spooky a little bit. Uh, Lucinda really makes this song with her vocals. Soul Alive is next. It's an old school rocker. You know, a, dra a drag strip uh, rocker. You know, get in line, shoot down. You know, the, the expressway against somebody, see who can win, see who can get to the finish line faster. Um, everybody wins. Really dig that song. It sounds like a well-oiled machine, again, with Ferroni on drums, Lance Morrison on bass, and Chris Holt on guitars with, with Mike Campbell. Shake These Blues, 60 Influence, hell yes. Campbell Blues, love it. If it ain't broken, don't fix it type of rock song, blues song, dirty knobs, rough and tumble. I love it. I think it's the best song on the album. Shake These Blues. Innocent Man. You know, um, a little formulaic lake here. 
but we're still, there's a song for everybody in this album. It might be somebody's song. He's an innocent man. He's, you know, um, but the energy's still up. So there's no loss in energy here. Maybe not the best song. Chris Stapleton and Ben Montench are on the next song. Slide guitar is a little bit of a guitar tool, duel. I wish there was more a guitar duel on it. But uh, it's, again, strong, strong song called Don't Wait Up. Don't wait up for me. I'm out there jamming my guitar. I'm 74. I'm bringing in gunslingers like Chris Stapleton. I can still keep up with those young kids because I'm a legend and a rock and roll hall of famer and great in my own solo career as well. My Old Friends is next. You know, the, the kind of the cliche of Jim Beam and Jack Daniels and Johnny Walker are my old friends. And, um, you know, say goodbye to my old friends. I got to draw the line always have a place somewhere in the back of my mind so you're reminiscing about your old party days you know you can't do it anymore you better call me a cab i can't quite do it but you're a part of my past we've partied together you've been a good friend of mine but maybe you're not good for me anymore and then amanda lynn's a little 43 second piece i don't know why it's on here that little guitar seems to be what he's using there Interesting cover with those little Cubert squares. I give this a 3.75 out of 5. It's not a great record, but it's a really, really, really good record. Uh, my 3s are good. My 4s are great. My 5s are perfect. This is almost a 4. Uh, I don't think it's great, um, but it might be on, on, a, on a given day. Um, it's really close to being that. Check out my channel. We review albums every week. We review concerts. We do ranking shows. We talk all about great music. Peace out. See ya.